Hey friends, happy Wednesday. Pastor Chad here. Hey, um, so you know, I've been thinking about last week when we talked about Advent and, and Christmas time being that time to come together, to be together, to support one another. We were talking about forming community. And we now, in this modern age, form community in so many ways. And I have a friend that I've met. Uh, we share a common hobby, right? But I met him, and he lives down in uh, southern Pennsylvania. And by profession, by trade, he is a watchmaker. He's a clock uh, smith, I guess. I don't know what exactly they're called. But, you know, all those fine, tiny, intricate parts that go into making a watch or a clock, this guy is an expert. So I got home the other day, and there was a box in my mailbox, and I opened it up, and out came this little pocket watch. Now, in the pocket watch, or in the box with the pocket watch was a note. It said, Pastor Chad, I want you to have this. This was a pocket watch that I repaired so many years ago. It was way back in 1990. And as he wrote his note, he detailed the work that had been done. He says, when I got this pocket watch, the back was smashed, the glass was no more, the hands were missing, the top was sheared off. And I got thinking to myself, well, if, if I saw that, perhaps lying at the side of the road, because that's what it sounded like, I'd count it for loss, right? It would be dead. It would be garbage. It wouldn't be worth anything. But not to my friend, the watchmaker. You see, he worked his magic. He took this, this discarded, this worthless pocket watch, and he added new hands. He fixed the mechanism. He took the dents out of the back. He replaced the top. He put out a new glass. And friends, the watch that he sent me this week works better than when it came off the factory floor. Friends, this is what Christmas is all about, right? The world in the end of the Old Testament, right? If you read Micah, you read Amos, you read those last few books. The world was a mess. The world was like this watch, right? Ready to be crumpled up and discarded and shoved to the side of the road. But you see, God had a different plan. You see, God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to come not only as a baby, but as the Messiah, the Redeemer. And friends, I know that like this pocket watch, when Jesus is done with you, when Jesus is done with me, we are going to be better than new. We are going to be better than when we came off that quote-unquote proverbial factory floor. God has big plans for us. So friends, just a reminder, as we gather, we're going to gather on Sunday morning, and we're going to celebrate the fourth Sunday of Advent, right? This fourth Sunday in this time of pausing and waiting. And then we'll gather again Sunday evening at 7 o'clock for a Christmas Eve candlelight service as we welcome the Christ child and celebrate the work that God is doing in us, through us, and around us. I look forward to seeing you then. Bye-bye.